All right, guys, so today's Sunday. Uh, we got a family party to go to, so. <clears throat> this morning after I just got done scraping, I put this uh, on our tractor here. Gonna hook up the disc bind again. It's gonna be time to uh, start second crop. Half it's already flowering, but oh well. Nothing we can do about it. It rained a lot, which we did really need that rain, so very thankful for that. But got that on. Gonna go fuel up the tractor, then come in here and hook the disc bind back up and grease it. Probably give it a good rinse and the tractor. So yeah, make sure all the levels of oil and stuff are good. So that's the plan. Except for, if you don't have the mower to perf perfectly flat, when you try to lift this off, it just, if it's not, uh, if there's too much side pressure, it'll just boom! It makes a loud bang. And yeah, but we really like it because PTO just goes right into here, and then straight up, and then straight back. So you can turn like as sharp as you want with this thing. So that's why these are here. All right. All hooked up, ready to pull her out. All right guys, we got second crop going down. This stuff here that we're starting with, these first couple acres are gonna be uh, pretty flowered out, but it is what it is. We've gotten a lot of rain that has been holding us off, which we're really thankful for that rain. And it did uh, flatten the alfalfa a little bit, so if you cut certain directions, it kind of just pushes it over and doesn't cut as much. So, right now it's cutting really nice here, but we're going to get cutting here, and then we're going to go head over to our rented area, rented area, rented field, where we have some new seating that we're going to just bail because it's too far to go chop. So, that is our plan, but I'm going to cut these first fields of alfalfa here for chopping tomorrow. Stuff does look really nice though. Should make some good feed.
here. And then we'll be uh, heading down the road to uh, that farm with the uh, triticale. Uncle's got the Oliver and the rakes all ready to go. And we're heading over to the other farm there. thing about this triticale is you can kind of follow the rows so it kind of makes it a lot more even when you get done here and when you have to cut across the field all right got this field finished now time to go head home all right I got the tractor cooling off got the AC running gonna get that cooling in there my uncle just started raking the field I first cut yesterday, so he's going to rake it all, what I cut yesterday, then chop, start chopping. And I'm going to go cut a little bit more for chopping tomorrow. See if I can get a couple shots of him raking with the Oliver and the double rakes here. Oh yeah, this stuff's going to make some good feed. Oh yeah, a little wet still, but by the time we're ready to chop, it should be ready to go. He can rake way faster than I can mow, so I better go get mowing. Probably won't take too many videos of cutting hay today, just because I'll get quite a bit of chopping since I didn't get, or since I did get clips of hay mowing yesterday. But I love cutting this field. Nice view of the farm and all the other fields. This stuff is very thick. A little ripe, but yeah. Be a lot of loads up here. All right, on to the next field. It's kind of like a Y shape, it goes straight, and then it also goes down to the left here. But this stuff is so thick. Holy cow, this is a nice looking field. But we're gonna cut this field and call it. And then uh, probably around one o'clock, we'll start uh, start chopping. All right, we got done cutting for today. Uncle's gonna start chopping here in about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna go home, take the dogs out, and then I'll uh, come back and start home.
awesome. Hopefully it bags into the bagger good. So first load and maybe a load and a half, we have to keep the tractor in park and the bagger, the brakes tight on it until it packs into the back then we can let the tractor brake off and then work with the brakes on the bagger to, to see how far we have to turn them to make the bagger move forward and keep packing the bag tight. Yeah, definitely be the next load before I have to let the brakes off. Load number two. The bag's made a weird hump here, but I think it's because this was kind of folded under. Oh well, it'll pack in there. It already started to. I can start to feel it about here. So I released the brake on the tractor and then I uh, adjusted this one on the bagger. And you can see how far it's moved. This is where the tractor was sitting. Here it is now. We'll look at the back of the bagger in a minute. Here's what the back of the bag looks like. And right here is where the tunnel ends. It's really packing it in there. Right when things are going your way, the metal alert on the chopper won't stop beeping. And it's all dug out, there's nothing in there. And it just won't stop, so that's annoying. And the, the blower motor of the tractor is going out. All it does is click. Ain't nothing happen. Alright, well I went and got the jumper cables. We shut the tractor off, and the spout was working. And then all of a sudden the spout was not working. So the tractor's battery volts are like really low. So we think that might be why things are not working. So the 105 isn't strong enough to jump the 140. So we're gonna jump with our 135 here. Had to go get it. We're gonna go mow again. No, we're not. Figured we'd be almost done chopping when I cut yesterday by now, but this really a bit through a this really threw a wrench in, in things. So. Here we go. We're gonna try this out. All right. Well, we got it working. It was the batteries, but we're gonna definitely need some new ones. Or something. Oh, there's some. All right. He's gonna try to go in here. See how long it. The 140 will keep going until uh, the volts get too low to run the chopper head again. We'll see what happens. Could be until we're done. Could be in five seconds. Who knows? We're about to find out. Well, it's been five seconds. We're still going at least. Hopefully we can just get everything done that I have break tonight. Go get some new batteries tomorrow. Well, we're done for today. Didn't get very far on the bag. Didn't get much done. Just ridiculous. The bolts went way down and one of the alternator belts are flying off, broke. We just can't catch a break. 
I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but I feel like we're always just, always something gets thrown in the mix and we just get screwed over and stuff. I'm just annoyed, so that's just going to be the end of this video, because we'll see you tomorrow.